everyone, welcome back to my channel. Can you believe it? This is my fifth palette for fall that I'm showing you. It concludes my little collection of five new palettes for you. This one is called Lottie Dottie. We like to party. It's really named after my grandmother. Her name was Dorothy. She went by Dottie and she loved a cocktail party. She loved to party. She loved to be around people. She loved mixing and mingling. And I thought it was perfect. And it's a little bit deeper. It's all matte nice grays, beautiful neutral still, but you're getting more color. And I wanted to show you too, I have a velvet liquid lipstick that I'm going to be showcasing called Rita. This is beautiful, great for fall. I'm gonna show you it at the end. I have two options for you for lipsticks. I have persistence, and then I'm gonna show you the velvet. And what is really significant about this also is this is my mentor. So I have a mentor. I've had a mentor since 2010, no, 2009. A beautiful woman, powerful, successful, positive, very, very influential in my life. So I came out with this color. This is a color she wears all the time. So I formulated this to be her lipstick. And this is the only thing she wears. And it makes me so happy. So she has her own lipstick named after her and it is such a powerful force. It's a powerful woman behind this. So when you swipe this on, you know that it is, you know, it, it's almost like be a mentor to somebody else or find a mentor, find somebody that you look up to, right? That is what this symbolizes for me because that is what she's done for me. And I think everybody needs a mentor. So we're gonna just work through this makeup tutorial. It's so exciting. I also have my, I showed this on Instagram. This is my dry bar. It's a, I got it from Nordstrom. This is a brush that heats up. So uh, there's a tropical depression right now out, outside my window. And so I got out of the car and my hair went, <laughs> like, look at this. I mean, this is like, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna shape it up at the end too. Okay, so I'm gonna take my eye and lip primer. This is the first thing I do. Someone asked me actually in a comment recently do I, why I don't do my face first and then I do. Uh, I don't want anything on this beautiful canvas right now, fallout, anything. I always do my eyes first, then I will do my foundation. There's no reason for me to muddy up with shadows and everything on beautiful BB cream or a beautiful foundation. So I'm gonna just take my eye and lip primer, lash line all the way up to my brow bone, or actually my, my, my brows, so I can neutralize out my lids. You know that this is my number one product because it's gonna make your eyeshadow last, it's gonna make your eyeshadow look true, the color is going to come right out, be extra vibrant, not being mixed in with your own skin color. You, when you're, when you're applying eyeshadow to your eyes and you're just going, it's almost like, I feel like it's almost like putting pants on without underwear. I mean, is that a good analogy or is that weird? It's what I kind of feel like. You're putting on a neutralizing out. So you're preparing your eye for the eyeshadow. So it's kind of like, I mean, that's kind of what I think. I mean, it's like, putting on you know your pants but not really having on the first layer that should really be go go on your on your forget it uh, that was probably weird right i'm sure people are gonna say something about that it's the first thing that came to my mind all right so we're gonna go in with i'm gonna be using my essential makeup brush kit you know i have beautiful eight brushes made for you to travel with to have right here. You don't have to have elaborate anything, ladies. Very simplistic. So I literally have three shadow brushes that come in your kit. I'm gonna be using my shadow brush, I have my contour brush, and I have my little smudgy brush that I call my little eraser. So I'm gonna go in with the middle color and I'm going to, now this is gonna be, listen, party look. I'm going to a party, I'm, I'm adding color, I'm adding more. This is more today. So I'm going to, Add the middle color to the middle of my lid here, right? So I like to have the concentration. Really, I apply it here first, right? Because I can control this. I can control where this is going. So I'm going to now take what I applied, I'm going to spread it across my lid because this gives me this really gives me a lot of range of control. So now I've kind of sheared it out. Now I'm gonna go back in a little bit more. I'm gonna add more to it because I want to have a little bit more of a stronger eye today. I do, I really want, I wanna add some color. I wanna feel like I'm going to a party. I wanna feel like, that's what I wanna feel like. So I'm gonna just add it here. Notice I'm not taking it all the way up into the crease and packing on color. 
unless that's what you want. Today, I don't want that. I want it to look really beautiful here, and then I'm going to contour with the deeper color in that contour area. I'm going to take now this little contour brush. This is like almost like a pencil. It's shaped so it's a little bit tapered. I'm gonna go into the deepest color and remember, these are highly concentrated colors. So if you're used to really going for it in eyeshadows and then going to your eye, this is going to be a big shock for you because they are highly concentrated. You want to start slow. Just, just don't, don't load up the brush too much because you will be in for a shock. So I'm going to add in the corner here, right? Remember, nothing's on my skin. So I have a lot of range to be able to play with because I'm going to sweep it up. I'm going to get rid of it. So I want to come down in here. I'm adding the darker color, right? Again, all matte shadows, triple milled, beautiful, silky, right? Don't worry that this looks like a lot. This is what, this is the process of applying shadow, especially when we're older, you might get, oh no, oh no, like too much. It's okay, we're going to blend it, we're going to sweep it around. So I'm gonna take a little bit underneath here because I want that smokier, Kind of shadow underneath okay now if you have more hooded eyes you can go a little bit higher you're cheating because you want to recede that area you want it to look like you have you want it to look like your eyes creasing higher than it is right it's kind of like tricking the eye when people look at you so i'm just going to go in with a little smudge brush here and i'm going to just blend this out just blending it so there's really no hard lines that's really that's really the idea is that you want to apply but you also want to blend and really get it so there you don't see where it starts and where it stops okay you can keep adding depending on what you want to do did you blend it all out do you want to go back and add a little bit more though these are all things that are going to be up to you you know like do i have enough up there i don't know let me let me just go back with that little middle color let me add a little bit more up here because it looked like Maybe I didn't blend up or maybe I didn't go up high enough. That's not a problem. I don't want you to feel like, you know, again, I always talk about use your fingers. Makeup's fun. Makeup, you're not making any mistakes. You're trying new things. Maybe you've been out of the makeup game and you're like, oh gosh, I don't know how to get back into it. I have a great beginner makeup kit that I designed. So you can just order the basics. Clear gloss, clear brow, uh, brow fix, mascara, simple things to make you feel like, okay, I got back into it. It's not scary. Um, then, you know, then go into color if you want to, if that's kind of, you know, what you want, the direction you're going into. So this is basically what I'm going to be doing. Not too dark, but a little bit more of a party feel, right? And then we're going to go right into... You can always go back to, once we put on our mascara, once we get the finished look, we can always go back and blend more or add more, whatever we need to do. My eyelash curler, Shua Moore. And ladies, make sure you're on my, my newsletter list because I have some beautiful, exciting launches coming up for holiday. I'm gonna be doing previews for my list. I'm going to be doing pre-option of purchasing because again with my collections I only have a certain amount especially now with this COVID I can only get certain you know certain ingredients are becoming very very hard to get when it comes to my products so this is why I would like to give you the heads up before things are launched you can actually know and it's not a surprise I'm going in with my mascara uh, you know what actually I gotta do some liner first. We're gonna do some liner. Going in with my dark brown gel liner. This is a beautiful product because the brush is actually built into the top. So you don't have to worry that you can't find your brush, which happens to me all the time. This brush is angled, it's little, it's perfect. So I'm gonna just do what I like to do, my signature. You can do black actually too with this, but I'm gonna go a little bit thicker. Look how creamy this is. Look how this just applies just so easy. There's no dragging on the lid. You have a lot of control. This is a stay put formulation, 24 hours. This is going nowhere. So this is also used for the brows, four colors, ash brown, medium brown, dark brown, and black. Beautiful, black's gonna be beautiful for the, the holiday season. 
I mean, it just adds enough to your eye, not too much. You can also take your little eraser brush and just glide across it if you want to just give it a little bit of a diffusing, uh, more of a smoky look. I like doing that sometimes on my lash line like this, especially with the black, because it just gives it that really beautiful kind of one with your eye look. It's not over the top, it's not too much. Then we'll go right into the mascara. I'm using Nicole Cosmetics Mascara. You know I also love the Chanel one also, so you have a couple options. Um, I use that for years. I like this one though, because I feel like my lashes really get gripped by this brush because it's so little and it has these teeth and it's really great for when you're doing an evening look and you wanna go for the lower lashes. You know how hard that is when you have a big brush and you're trying to get little lashes at the bottom and it goes everywhere all over your face. So this is a really nice brush to be able to just get those little baby hairs. So now I'm gonna go right into my brows and I'm going to do, I have seen a little, I'm doing the brunette brow fix. I usually do clear, but I have that one little, one little brow that likes to show up. So it coats it nicely. So if you have gray brows, this is a really nice product to basically not have to tint your brows all the time. You can get that, you're, you're able to control having color in your brows and coloring those gray hairs. Do not pluck them, ladies. We need every hair that we can possibly get. And now, fun, fun time. We're gonna go into cheeks and we're gonna go into lips. So let's start off with, you know, oh, what am I, what am I doing? We have to do brightener and foundation. I got way ahead of myself. All right, so eye brightener, I'm going to brighten up the area underneath my eyes. Wow, that was really interesting. I got so excited to do lips and to do cheeks. This is my way that I like to apply my eye brightener. So I go to the corner where all the darkness gray is because of that shadow from my nose down to the corner of my nose back up. So I like to keep this nice and light because that's where I have a little bit more of that pigmentation, a little bit of redness. It's actually subsiding more so than not lately, which is I'm very excited about. But this is nice because a touch-up pen really is easy. It clicks up, goes on very light. You'll see it a lot in my Fierce Aging videos. This was out of stock for six, seven months. We just got it back. Everybody is very excited. Taking my buffing brush and I'm just going to work this into my skin. Not moving it around, pressing it in with my brush, my buffing brush. Now you can use a beauty blender if you want to. I just don't want to move this product. I want to set it into my skin. Taking my BB cream in light and I'm going to put on a little bit. I do find that this goes a little bit, goes a long way. Burst of hydration on the skin. Beautiful with chamomile, ginseng, aloe. It's going to smooth the skin. It's going to give you a little bit more of a dewy finish. It is not a matte finish. I don't really love to matte out my skin too much. I like a little bit of that that hydrated that you know kind of healthy looking skin that has a little bit of sheen to it a little bit of hydration looking not so dull and flat i'm gonna go in with persistence beautiful creamy high gloss lipstick with my cognac this is my lip liner so this is waterproof i'm going to just line my lips And I'm gonna go over with the Persistence. If you love Beauty Reinvented, you're gonna love this color. I love how it's high shine. I really like that. It's very comfortable, it's very moisturizing, and has vitamin E in it. It has a little bit of that beautiful, just kind of sheen to the lip, but not overpowering, not too heavy. Um, it's not uh, a lip that's going to take over your face. This is really, really pretty. I love this, especially with the waterproof cognac lip liner. Make that as defined as you want to. I like to soften mine a little bit. And then I'm gonna just go into, I'm gonna just keep it kind of neutral. I'm gonna go, this is my, my uh, private island. I'm gonna go into more of the bronzy kind of shadow there and then maybe pop it a tiny bit. I'm just gonna go, I just want a little definition. 
I will pop it though. You know what? I'm going to pop it right in the middle of my cheek. This is going to be kind of more of a contour right now for me. And then I'm going to just go into, I'm going to go into this color here. I'm just going to go into the top just to give me a little bit, right? Anytime I feel like I just want to kind of blend it, mute it a little bit, I'll take my blotting powder, just nice and lightweight and just, just give it a little bit of diffused look to it, blend it a little bit more. It also helps too, because it kind of gives my skin a little bit more of that setting powder, right? So that is persistence on the lips. Beautiful color. You know, you can wear it with this, this nice muted. I feel like I'm a little red from the lights though with my, my cheeks right now. I'm getting like very, I'm having like a hot flush. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta show, show you. This is what I use for my hot flashies that come up. That's what I like to call them. It makes me feel a little bit better. This fan, I showed it to you before. It is portable. It folds down. It can easily fit into your bag. And then I just literally put this on my face. It is USB. I got it on an Amazon. I'll link it below. I, I linked it below in one of my other videos, but it just makes me feel like I don't have that flushed. I can feel my cheeks getting like really hot. So this is great. Look, it pops down and I can just put it into my bag. So um, this was persistence. I'm taking this off. I'm going to show you the Rita. So there you have a beautiful power lip. This is a beautiful piece. It's almost like a piece of jewelry, I think, when you have a power lip like this. Use it with uncovered eyeshadow palette, bottled blonde, something more neutral. You can definitely wear it with this shadow. Lottie Dottie definitely goes with Rita, but it just depends on how, what your comfort zone is, what, what, what level you're at. Do you like a bold lip? Do you like wearing? This is a nice matte lip though, I have to say. And you can also put a little bit of the, of the peppermint infused clear lip gloss if you want a little bit more shine to it. You know, it just depends on the feeling that you're gonna, that you, that you want. So I, um, I've been running this through my hair, so it kind of just really refreshes my blowout. I like the fact that it's a paddle brush right? This is just, this just gives my hair more form. It takes out, I had a hat on the other day when I was working out and I got caught in the rain. And so I put this through my hair and it was like, oh, no more hat head. This is just a really great, you know, get ready really quick, going out to dinner, going out, just going out, <laughs> making your hair look good. I, I actually, I, I bought this on a whim thinking I need something that makes my hair, makes it easy for me, right? So this is easy. I turn it off. It heats up so fast, which I really love. So ladies, I hope that you are inspired, that you really get excited about fall. You know, let's not look back. Let's look forward. All of these, these pieces in this fall collection. It's really a capsule collection. Again, I only have a certain amount, so I wanted to present this all to you in a very timely manner. So you feel that you can make a wish list and you can, you know, be able to use these products during the fall season and be empowered and, you know, feel good with putting on Lottie Dottie and saying, you know what, I like to party. And if that means just going again, like getting a glass of champagne and enjoying yourself and enjoying a book or, you know, doing things that make you happy. That's really my intention for you this fall is doing things that that make you happy, wearing products that make you happy. You know, these lipsticks from Persistence to my mentor Rita, like these are powerful products. These are to make you feel encouraged and to feel like you, you're, you're leaving everything behind that you once thought about your makeup and how you do things and about your skin, about your body, about everything. It's about moving forward together and moving forward knowing you have support because I'm here supporting you. I'm here every week, twice a week that I, I upload videos. I'm over on Beauty Reinvented, my private Facebook group. I show up on lives. I have Nicole Cosmetics Facebook group and I also have a private Facebook group for Nicole Cosmetic customers to give extra attention to application, ingredients, etc. So I hope that you really enjoyed this fall collection and I hope that you really make it a wonderful, wonderful season for yourself. And until my next video, I'll see you later.